All right, so this is the Citizen Garrison 802480-57L uh, watch. <laughs> it's a mouthful, but it's a good watch. But before we take a look at this watch, let's look at the box. So here's the box. Comes in a sleeve. And the box is pretty solid. So open it up. Well, I have removed the links to adjust the watch strap to link uh, to to fit my wrist, obviously. So anyway, so I'll talk about that more later on. Foam padding. Uh, so this. Uh, tag was attached to the watch and apparently uh, it has an MSRP of $595 in Canada uh, Paid one-third of that <laughs> I'm out actually no not even anyways, that's funny uh, uh, Some documentation here More documentation Home pillow that the uh, watch uh, wrapped around with and that's pretty much it for the box all right, so let's take a closer look at the watch here. First of all, it's a very good looking watch. And my wife agrees. Uh, it has, as you can see, a blue dial with yellow indicators. So, you know, it provides very good contrast. Uh, pretty much in line with a uh, field watch design. Um, it's a chronograph, so it has uh, three sub dials, although the one on the top right is a uh, 24 hour indicator. Uh, the one at the 6 hour mark is actually the second hand. Uh, as you can see the the main second hand is uh, is not moving and that's because it's uh, used for the chronograph. And at the top left you have the uh, minute uh, timer, right? So if you press the upper right button, it will start the it will start the chronograph or the stopwatch you can press it again to pause it and then press it again to continue or you can press the bottom one uh, to reset and then it goes back to the default behavior of you know a watch <laughs> uh, yeah so I wish uh, that the main second hand would uh, actually move just like in a normal watch uh, I guess you can uh, could mimic it by you know doing this and then just synchronizing uh, <laughs> your actual second hand, which is the smaller one. But obviously, it's gonna stop uh, once it uh, reach one hour. Anyways, uh, that's just I didn't know that at the beginning, <laughs> like before uh, getting this watch. So uh, if that's a deal breaker for you, then yeah, that's. And kind of unfortunate because the watch is nice and and I, I don't mind it so much because yeah anyways let's reset that uh, now the crown itself is not screwed uh, you just pull it halfway to adjust the time uh, or wait no the date and then pull, pull it all the way to adjust the time I believe that's uh, yeah, I may have it backwards I don't want to adjust the time right now but anyways uh, yeah it's, it's a it's not screwed, you just pull it. Um, the case is uh, 44 millimeter wide, so it's not a small watch. Uh, the lug width is 22. Uh, so it's, I guess you could say it's easy to find straps for it, but then again, as you can see, the, the strap itself is, um, you know, uh, it's tailored uh, to the watch case, uh, which is made out of uh, titanium, they call it super titanium. So it's pretty light watch actually, and yeah, it doesn't feel like a cheap watch, uh, but it's it's quite light. Um, and, and I do like the uh, brush finish on the watch itself, and though they say it's silver uh, in 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 tone, uh, it's actually some. I think it's 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 a very light gray because uh, when I think silver I think uh, this yeah although I guess you could say that's more like chrome but anyways uh, we'll compare that later on uh, and then if you just go down the uh, uh, actually no let's go back here uh, it's a very thin watch uh, it's 11 millimeter thick which is actually still pretty good um, it has this uh, stamped uh, clasp 
and that folds over. I wish it would have been, you know, better made, but you know, it works and it's titanium is light and it's, it's pretty solid. Uh, push buttons to release the clasp. Uh, yeah, and to adjust this is pretty simple. So you have those arrows there. Uh, it's a pin and collar type of uh, connection. So <laughs> funny enough, I just what I did was I used this SIM card uh, pin tool. I just push it all the way down. You don't have to use a hammer. Right? You can just push it out and then grab it from the other side. Uh, you know, and then just so. That's how, that's how I got these. Uh, just be careful not to use the lose the uh, the color. They're very small, and yeah, <laughs> that might just pop out. And yeah, and I use the same tool to just kind of uh, push the pin in again, just using the flat end of it, just like pushing it down. That's pretty straightforward. You know, you just have to be very uh, careful about it, not to. Uh, use too much force. You don't need need a hammer or a mallet to kind of punch it out. Yeah, just just push it off, and yeah. Anyways, you have a micro adjustment, uh, but there's only two options. So you know, because the the class itself is very uh, small, as you can see. But yeah, you know, it, it's yeah. Like I said, it's a very nice watch. Um, Oh, did I say the uh, window uh, is made out of uh, sapphire? So it's pretty robust watch, you know, in general. Um, titanium, sapphire, uh, paid less than $200, so it's kind of hard to go wrong with this watch and it's chronograph, so, you know, and there's a date as well at the four hour mark, so I forgot to mention that, but there's no month. Uh, right or day of the week, it's just uh, numerical day, uh, which is fine, you know, there's less <laughs> things to adjust. Uh, you only need to adjust it once a month just to align the, the day. I almost forgot there's Lim too, so let's go charge it. Uh, yeah, so yeah, so it's pretty decent loom, uh, you know, looks good too. Right. And yeah, although you don't get the little on the sub dials, but that's fine. So my daily watch is this tough solar Casio. Um, yeah, this is just what I wear around the house. You know, obviously very cheap. I think I paid like twenty something, thirty dollars for this thing. Uh, it's still solar though. Uh, another cheap uh, daily watch that I have. You know, when I wearing jeans and whatnot. Uh, this is a Timex uh, Expedition Solar watch. Um, leather strap, gunmetal case uh, that's made out of brass. So it's like it's heavier than it ought to be. But yeah. And finally, the you know favorite uh, solar watch in my collection is this one right here. This is the Casio Edifice ECB-950 YDB-1 AJF. Uh, it's a mouthful, but yeah. Uh, just like the Citizen, it has a Sapphire uh, window uh, display. Uh, pretty robust watch, uh, although it's made out of uh, stainless steels, so it's heavier, like much heavier than the Citizen. It's also much thicker and just bigger overall but uh, what well, you do get a lot of functionality here is bluetooth as analog and digital display all right so that's the citizen garrison at2480-57l uh in summary i really like this watch uh, you know, you're getting uh, a lot of bang for the buck here. I paid $192 Canadian. Uh, that includes shipping, uh, obviously plus tax uh, uh, from Amazon. Uh, I believe it was a sale. Uh, but yeah, you know, for that money, less than 200 bucks, you get sapphire glass, titanium case and strap. Uh, obviously, eco drive, so it's solar powered, which means you don't have to worry about a battery.
uh, for a very long time. I mean, it still degrades eventually, it's like all rechargeable batteries, but yeah, you know, it'll last a very, uh, I, I suspect at least a decade. Uh, chronograph, and yeah, and, and it looks really good. It looks much more expensive than what I paid for it. Uh, although that said, uh, it's not perfect. I do wish the second hand is as a you know normal second hand. And what I mean by that is uh, right now it's just in its default watch mode. But if I change mode to the chronograph mode, uh, the second hand goes to the twelve goes to twelve o'clock, and then it can start the timer. And yeah, you know, and when I stop, go back into uh, normal watch mode. Yeah, then it behaves like a second watch. Yeah, I wish this would do that, um, but I'm I'm fine with it. You know, I, I can accept this. Yeah, uh, even though I didn't know that uh, beforehand. Uh, however, one thing uh, I do wish, and you know, it, it's it's the small dials don't actually align uh, with the markers, right? And it is. Uh, more obvious with the second indicator there, uh, even though it's small, you can see that it's not fully in line with the markers. Um, now that said, it is small, <laughs> so you pro you not, not gonna notice it most of the time. Uh, yeah, so just a couple of like things that I don't like about it, uh, and, and that's more than outweighed by all the good things that I like about this. So yeah, totally recommend this. Uh, yeah, anyways, uh, that's it. Thanks for watching, and see you guys soon. Bye for now.